5 Walnut Street in South Hadley, Massachusetts. This house is important because the family, the Scott family that lived here, took photographs of their daily life, of their homes, of their neighborhood, of the area around South Hadley, of their work habits around South Hadley and Honan. And so there's an enormous collection of photographs at the South Hadley Library. And they've all been reproduced by the Massachusetts government to make them available on the internet. And you can find them very easily. Scott Family South Hadley, with the code words, will bring you to them. Now, the, you can see it's a two and a half story home, front gabled, shingle, shingles within the gables. So you might, you might call it a shingle styled Victorian home. It used to have a wraparound porch, and we'll go to at the end to the side that had the wraparound. Now, it's a, it's a beautiful and cozy house, kept in great shape. And I've been able to go inside of it with the family's uh, encouragement and see how well it's maintained and how beautiful it looks inside. Now, the family was the Hugh Scott family with, with his wife, Achi, Achi Dimmick. They came to South Hadley, 1883 to 1891. They lived on Gaylord Street. Before that, they probably lived somewhere on Canal Street. He worked in many places around the area. And, and, and so since 1891, they built this house on their own, bought the land from the Gaylord family. And since then, for 75 years after that, at least 75 years after that, they lived here as a family unit. And the family lived here and they did everything from here. As the family grew and grew, they were able to move off and of course, they, they did that. I'll name you some of the members. I already talked about Hugh, but some of his, his sons were Charles, Earl, uh, Willie, Frank, Arthur, Raymond. And then some of the girls were uh, Katie, Addie, and Lillian. Some died young, some lived a longer life. Now the good thing is, the whole video of a presentation I made at Siley Public Library is now available on the internet. You can, you can see pictures on the internet, my story about them, text, pictures of the house itself, some of the deeds. And so we're just gonna give you a summary here. You see the beautiful garage in the back with a nice little porch and a beautiful side yard that's well maintained. It, it's, it's surrounded by houses, but there are cozy little houses on this Walnut Street, a beautiful shaded place. And now what we're going to do is go up to the side of the house. Okay, now the reason why they come to the side of the house is because they used to have a wraparound porch that started at the left at the door and then came around this whole area to the right of the house and ended in that, that front corner right there. And they used to have another door on the side that's been taken out. But it's a beautiful wraparound porch now gone. Wraparound porches are hard to maintain. The Scott family lived here from 1891 to 1975, so for 84 years. And then since then, 1975, a second family has come in here. That means that only two families have lived here in the past 132 years, which is an incredible fact. And that's probably a good reason why the whole house is very well maintained in all aspects. You get to see that it has a side, additional side gable with the shingles maintaining themselves. And that kind of gives the whole house a beautiful little style to it. And also this side yard and the backyard from here are very well maintained also. And so it's a home that's well appreciated and the family that lives there now tells me that they, they want to maintain it that way. Now remember that there's old photographs of this house and so you can get a good view of what the house looked like in the past. A lot of similarities, some differences. The one interesting story is that when one of the sisters was dying because of uh, tuberculosis, tuberculosis, if you stay in the cold, you can live longer because it slows down the disease. And she would live out on the porch for a few months trying to get away from her children and also trying to uh, keep the disease from ravaging her lungs anymore. 
She ended up dying at the Northampton Tuberculosis Hospital. All right, so any questions about this house, just go to my page, look at all the great images on the internet of the Scott family, and you'll learn a great deal. Thank you for coming this morning.